Well, Kyle used the word uh, adored. I would say the word could be beloved as well. Certainly the end of an era for the Dodgers franchise, for baseball fans, for sports fans. Everybody loved Vin Scully, as Rick Mundy told me today, whether you met him and knew him for 20 seconds or 20 years. At the entrance to Dodger Stadium on Vin Scully Ave, a steady stream of fans bringing flowers, messages, and of course, memories. Well, I put my radio on, he, he would tell me, and in, in my mind, I would vision the Dodgers playing, you know? Yes, I heard him all the time. It's time for Dodger baseball. <laughs> I remember him watching him on um, KT uh, on, all, on all the channels, and I remember all his stories. I remember, like, I always used to. I would think, like, how does he know so much about the other players? Dodger fans, we all love him. And how can you not? His voice, his dedication, his commitment to the game. Gone at 94, but never forgotten. The term legend, often overused, not in this case. 67 years with the same team, a star off the field, and a franchise with so many stars on it. And you can almost taste the pressure now. Koufax lifted his cap, ran his fingers through his black hair. From Brooklyn to Los Angeles, Vin's voice, his folksy charm, his love for baseball and people, uniting generations of sports fans, inspiring generations of broadcasters like Roy Firestone. No one more important in my view than Vin Scully because of the longevity and because of the elegance and because of the way he broadcast with class and dignity at all times. There was a kind of unspoken morality to some of his storytelling. And for those of us that were touched by him, listened to him, and learned from him, this is a, uh, a deep loss. It was former Dodger and current broadcaster Rick Monday who broke the news of Scully's death on the radio last night. Yesterday was a very difficult time, uh, even though we knew that, you know, Vinny had been, you know, in ill health. Today, Monday described what his friend did as pageantry. Vinny was our friend, and it was like each and every day, Phil, it's like escape from reality. And our friend Vin Scully, it was like he was reaching through the television or reaching through the the, uh, the radio and saying, hey, look, I'm gonna put a nice little gentle hand on your shoulder. You're gonna be fine the next three hours. Pull up a chair, one of many of Vin Scully's catchphrases. In fact, that was the title of his biography. My style is no style. I'm really nothing. I'm what I am. Another phrase changed in 1955. Next year became this year. Lifelong Dodgers fan, Philip Elizalde from Boyle Heights, read from that biography at my request as he shared his thoughts about what made Vin Scully special. Listen to him as a kid and just being very comforting. It was very comforting as, as a, like some of those kids we grew up, you know, life wasn't always good and to hear his voice, it, it really brought, you know, a lot of positivity and he was like an influence. You could listen to those stories all day, Alex and Christine. Tomorrow, the Dodgers play in San Francisco. Then they return here Friday night. There will be a special ceremony honoring Vin Scully before the game. The team will wear a patch with the word Vin and the microphone symbol on it. Little known fact about Vin Scully, he had four children, two stepchildren, 21 grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren. Live at Dodger Stadium, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.